Well, welcome, welcome, guys. Hope you're all doing well. December 11th. We're back for more Final Fantasy VI. Um, and we're using... Oh, my God. You know what? I should do a regular save at some point, too, because our other original save is while we're still with Biggs and Wedge 10 minutes into the game. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys are all doing okay. It's a, a phenomenal day at the moment. Um, I started this series, and it still felt decidedly autumn. That was last week. Um... Today, though, the past couple of days, I mean, the temperature was around five, six, um, multiple days in a row. Today, the temperature, well, the past couple of days, the temperature has absolutely plummeted um, regularly in the negatives. I think it's like minus four or something right now. It's just crazy. And anyway, it's, it's completely ripped all the leaves off the trees and just left this brilliant frosty winter landscape around. It's not actually snowed, but it's been so wet and so cold that there's just, you know, frost everywhere and everything's kind of bathed in white anyway. So yeah, feeling very, very wintry. The uh, weather has had adverse effects. So I've got a bit of a story for you guys. What is this guy doing? Just sprinting back and forwards? Um, which we'll get to very soon. Okay, so but let's let's recap real fast here where we are because a hell of a lot happened in the last part. Shadow left. Now, some of you guys in the comments said that Shadow kind of was optional and even some of the stuff we did, he might have stayed longer or something? But anyway, he's gone again now. I think we can get him back later. I don't know. We had a ghost companion with us for a while on the ghost train. We learn a good a bit about Cyan's backstory. Cyan is really funny. He's a technophobe who uh, whose family was lost to the Empire, basically, here. So he's got very, very good reason to not be happy about all of this. Over on the Empire side, Kefka's bad, but there's this other guy. Leo, was it? Leo? Leon? Um, who seems, all right, fairly decent. Um, and we're currently still just trying to get back to Nash. I assume when we get there this branch of the story will end but as far as i'm concerned we've just gone further and further and further away from the place now we're in some kind of magical elfie type place i can't remember the name the veldt that's it i wanted to say verat this region is known as the veldt monsters migrate here from all over the world so it can be quite dangerous outside of town you never know what you might run into now at the end of the last part you guys were saying that the random encounters here are any potential random encounter I've had from anywhere else in the game, they all kind of piles on here like a crazy chaotic medley, which is a very weird idea. I don't know of any other Final Fantasies that do that. At least not in this way. I mean, maybe with a bit of rebalancing. You might have, like, big dungeons and stuff where mobs come back. But, yeah, it's kind of a curious thought. You came down Baron Falls. I think we spoke to these guys already. Unbelievable. It's flying even stronger this time of year. No one's been able to get here lately. Well, we made it. Is it true that war's broken out? I only got a letter saying that it had. Oh god, maybe I need to turn this down a little bit here. Uh, did you see the house on the far northern plains? That old man has lost his marbles. They see he threw out his own kid, thinking he was some kind of monster. Is that the, the guy with the clock or whatever? Yeah, he did seem a bit nuts. That was a bit crazy. Do you have information for me about him? I mean, I really don't know. So yeah, I thought this was a good place to stop before, because... Um, you know, nice, happy little village. Now, technically, I wanted to shoot this video yesterday. Um, but Tomb Raider only went up, like, midnight. So I figured we would just wait it out till the next the next lunchtime, and then we'll sort of reset, which is what we've done here. Aha, a new shop. I don't think I'm going to worry about this right now. Well, it depends. Attack plus 65. I mean, we got a lot of gil. Whatever. I guess I can buy it. And a Kotetsu as well. Yeah, I will do it. No harm in buying new gear. And what what, what purpose else would we have for just hoarding all of our gil just to have it at the end for no good reason? Uh, bandanas. Iron Helms. Thing is here, though, a lot of these characters aren't even on our team right now. So I won't go too crazy with it. In fact, that's a good point. With so many characters in the game, how are they going to end up displaying them all across the bottom? It looks like maybe we've skipped one sprite here. Who could that be? I don't know. I don't know how this will end up working. There we go. Thank you. Maybe it's just like an, we'll get an idea of an active party later, and it will only be the people in the active party that show up there. Alright, so what about this place with this person that's been wanting to get in? It looked like a church from the outside. Oh, it's just the inn. 
100 gil per night? Okay. If I only to see this animation... And hear that sound. I'll tell you what, guys. I There is something... It's beyond nostalgia, that music track for me. That little melody there. It's beyond nostalgia. There's something just incredibly, like... Great about it, but great in a way I would never hear in a normal song or something. It just makes me think of so many other Final Fantasy games I've played over different periods of my life. And I don't know, it just feels good. Alright, okay. And I'll go to an inn always for that. What do you want? Carrier pigeons are only linked to the outside world. Right, okay. When I was out hunting yesterday, I could have sworn I saw a kid running along with a pack of monsters. I wonder if it was just my overactive imagination. A happy little dog barking. Uh, it's December 11th, by the way. The big thing that should be on everyone's minds. I mean, if you, as long as you celebrate Christmas. Christmas is exactly two weeks away right now. So get your Christmas shopping done around. I, I think about now is the last time you can do your Christmas shopping and not be considered irresponsible. If you're Christmas shopping in the last week, that's like irresponsible. That's, that's too late. All right. If you're Christmas shopping on the last day, and believe me, I've lived all these experiences. I'm not judging anyone, all right? Because usually I'm the one rushing. If it's Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, that's terrible. If it's afterwards, I mean, you best have a good excuse. Like, you know, there were family members or something you weren't going to see until afterwards anyway or something. But yeah, now is really the last time that well-functioning, normal, <laughs> responsible adults finish their, their Christmas shopping. That's how I feel about it. <laughs> anyway, dried meat, by the way. This is new. Cures an empty stomach. I assume that's for a quest because that is a vague description. I'm going to buy two so that I have one left over in my inventory. <coughs> Just for that completionist sort of sense to it. Makes me think of those, uh, there are like Final Fantasy runs, where people, uh, like FF7 runs in particular, where people do absurd stuff to try and make sure they have 99 of every item or one of this obscure thing or one of that obscure thing. I, I threw some dried meat into a herd of hungry animals last time I was out in the veld, and would you believe it? Some kids scrambled out of the herd and ran off with it. Oh, this is definitely a hint about some hidden character, isn't it? Okay, hold on. Now that I've read that, I'm thinking let's buy t five. Because what if it's like a yuffy type situation where you get a quiz or something and you can run away and you can fail it? So I'll, I want more meat to keep luring him back. That would be the kid that appeared in those random battles we had before, I assume, as well. Powerful ocean currents run through Serpent Trench. Have you ever heard about them? Ocean currents? Well, not in the context of this world. Tell me about them. If you had a diving helmet, you could make it all the way down to Nikea. Oh, cool! Is there a whole underwater sequence? Oh, I said no, and that... Oh! Oh, right, I was supposed to say no, I guess. Wow, this is cool. Holy crap, guys, it's like a cutscene. It's like an SNES cutscene. This is quite ominous, isn't it? Wait, but that's just a place on the surface. Hop into the current and you'll be swept straight to Nikea. Too bad our only diving helmet was stolen. I don't understand. So it it's not a submerged place. It's not an Atlantis type place. Right, so your helmet was stolen. Okay, this right now, this is feeling very classic FF right now. You know, you're in a cozy village with grass all around, a bunch of like obscure hints about items and things you might want to go grab. The soldier inside this house is hurt real bad, so mum says we have to keep our voices down. Oh, I've, got, I've actually got two drinks on the go here today, by the way, so when I'm randomly quiet, it's either coffee, which I haven't got, I'm not drinking yet because it's too hot, or what I'm really big on at the moment is lemon juice. A grievously injured soldier wandered into the village not too long ago. I dressed his wounds, but his condition doesn't seem to be improving. Those letters come from the town of Miranda are the only things keeping him going. Oh my lord, okay. Oh, I get it. The idea is he's rushing around delivering. I see. Oh, it's got a cool sound effect. Yeah, I'm well into lemon juice. I never really liked it as a kid. Um, mostly because of the aftertaste. Like, there's two bits. Uh, what I'm talking about is lemon squash, okay? There's, like, two bits of lemon squash. First is, like, as you're drinking it, and it's originally going over your tongue and into your mouth, right? And it's, like, really smooth, and it's really sweet. And that I can't get enough of. I love it. Is when you finish, you take a gulp and you have that breathe out. There's that like aftertaste. It's a whole different flavor that comes roaring out second. And as a kid, I could not handle it at all. I think I've got enough years on me now that sort of my taste buds have numbed a bit. 
I don't know. Um, and now it's like totally fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, I'm super into it at the moment. I don't know why really. Uh, I can send letters and packages to any corner of the world for you. Let me know if you need my services. Yeah, send a message to... Well, we don't want to get an intercepted, do we really? What about down here? And I've also discovered if you have something really bitter and dry right before some lemon juice, lemon squash, that's the best. Which is why I've got coffee here too. Because I fully anticipate having a mouthful of coffee, alright, and then try the lemon squash afterwards. And I know I sound insane right now. I know this sounds like the most stupid thing in the world to talk about. But seriously, if you have both in your environment, try it out. It's so good. The lemon juice tastes amazing second. Um, the entrance of the Serpent Trench lies within the Crescent Mountain near the southern tip of the continent. Oh my god, they're throwing so many locations at me. We've got Crescent Mountain to the south, the Serpent Trench, two villages, Miranda is one of them, the other one is the other one, I can't remember the name of. Meanwhile, we're in the Velt. What I really need to do is get out on the world map, and I really need the geography in my head to sort of learn it. Hello, are you the war-torn soldier? I'm a soldier from Miranda. When our town fell to the Empire, I was forced to join the Imperial Army. I tried to flee, rather than help them attack Donna, but they came after me. I barely escaped alive. Now I can't even move. I'll never see Lola again. There's a le I cannot read that name without thinking of the song. There's a letter on the desk. Would you be kind enough to bring it to me? Yeah, okay. I love how in these games it's just not weird at all that we've come into these people's properties and are messing about like this, you know? Oh, by the way, uh, hi Toshi in chat. Thanks for joining the Spud Club. Welcome, man. That's awesome. There are even more Imperial soldiers walking the streets of Miranda these days, but things are peaceful otherwise. The flowers in the garden will soon bloom and announce the arrival of spring. How are you holding up? Your condition worries me no end. I so wish that I could fly to your side and be with you. Please think only about getting better and try not to push yourself too hard. Rest knowing that I spend every day thinking only of you and wishing I could see you, Lola. Does that ease your heart or not? I'd like to write her back, but I don't have the strength to pick up a pen. Well, I'll do that, man. Oh, that's so sad. I was very impressed last time we played this. How they just ended that scene at the train station. Very impressed indeed. All right, well, let's move on out. The other thing I've been doing as well, a lot of, I mean, all I've been doing today really before now um, is continuing with my, I, I can't remember if I mentioned it in this series or not, but I've been playing Hades. Duane and Katarin are both 16. Oh, what a magical age, the springtime of love. I would guess Americans really don't like this line because their laws are like, you know, it's the whole nanny state thing, isn't it? can't drink till 21 you can't have sex till 18 legally but i guess japan has the same legal age of consent as the uk here like that seems pretty normal to me but i don't know you'd think that they would localize that away to be honest but or well, maybe not i never quite know how prudish people are anymore welcome oh we have a white cape this is new defense plus five magic defense plus five magic evasion plus ten Everyone can wear it. It's a relic, right? So, oh my god, 5,000. I was going to say, let's buy two. This is just straight up comfortable, clean protection, right? So we can at least put it on someone. What's Sabin got? The Knight's Code and the Mithril Glove. And here we have the star pendant. Let's let's get rid of the uh, star pendant for now and put the white cape on. I mean, it's weird because it's a lot of stats, but they're all in such minor ways. It almost doesn't feel like it's that fun, but we can do it. Yeah, so my big thing is still been playing Hades. I've actually beaten the game. Okay, again, again, I can't remember if I mentioned this or it was in Tomb Raider, but I've basically beaten the game now in as much as like. Well, let's listen to this song again. I like the last little bling noise. Um, it's a weird game in that there's like three endings as far as I can see. There's kind of the the natural original ending. Then there's a proper ending way later when you actually see credits. And that's what I've just got. For, well, I won't spoil the game, I suppose, for people. But it's a scene with a boat. You're on a boat and there's credits. I'll just say that. I've seen that now. Um, and I've noticed in Steam achievements that there is another 
um, ending as well called like the epilogue ending or something. So I guess that's what I'll go for now. I'm still really enjoying the gameplay though. As far as I'm concerned, seal, shield and sword are absurdly overpowered in that game. Um, and they've been getting me through a lot of runs insanely easily. Okay, so the Vel has very cool music here. I just kind of want to shut up and listen to it. And then we're getting a fight. Okay, so wait. Let's try something here. Let's use Fang. And then let's Blitz one. Now, as far as I know, that will kill two and leave one alive. We'll Fang one and we'll Blitz the other, right? Where rats? So hold on, were these enemies I saw somewhere else in the game? I've just forgotten. Now, let's throw... Dried meat. At the rat, maybe? <laughs> it just healed it. It just healed it. It didn't do anything. It's a healing item. Wait, wait, wait. Should I throw dried meat at myself? I mean, you can really tell this is a blind playthrough here, can't you? Oh, it's just a pretty good economical heal, I suppose. Better than a potion. Oh, here we go. Yo Hello, gal. Okay, throw the meat on him. Let's feed the feral child. Ah, it triggered something. Oh, I'm glad I read the dialogue and engaged my brain there because this was clearly very easily missable. What the? What a peculiar child. I am Cyan and this is Sir Sabin. Hey, T-Lion, thanks for joining Spud as well. You, Sabin. Uh, what kind of a voice should we give him? You, Sabin. You, Cyan. You, Sabin. You, Cyan. Me want more food. I like how they both jumped. Sorry, all gone. It's not all gone. I bought extra. You go. Get more for me. You're, you're a regular little munchkin, huh? And you are afraid of me. I love the way they move around. You want some of this? Me not want to hurt you? Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> Look at this. What is this? They're like playing Ring Around Roses. I always feel like I could control Cyan here and move. <gasps> You're pretty tough for a little guy. They literally looked like they were holding hands and skipping in a circle. Wahahaha. <laughs> that fun, you strong. Oh, they did it again. You fall for it. Fall for trick. Shut up. Oh dear, do simmer down, sirs. And thou, O oh wild one, who might thou be? Oh, yeah, he's never going to be able to understand sign. Thou? Thou, 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 you angry? Cyan, you angry me? Cyan, you angry me? He looks sad, okay, so I'm doing a sad voice there. Cyan, you angry me? <laughs> he looks like he's getting dragged off by Sabin. Listen, his family was just... Okay. Me understand. Me sorry. Gal not mean but Wait, what did he say to trigger this? I can't remember. He didn't mention anything about family, did he? What did he? Water under the bridge. Let us not dwell on such things. Oh, my heart goes out for him. So, Gal, I have a feeling we will get along quite well. Wilt thou join us? Oh, Gal give you presents. Gal give, give Cyan and Sabin nice present. Thanks for food. Right. What manner of rubbish do you suppose he's going to give us? Gal's treasure, shiny, shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. How shiny can this junk be? Mr. Thou, like shiny thing? Mr. Thou, that's one I... I should voice him like a script. It just blew my mind realizing that. I should voice him like a script. Mr. Thou's that one over there. A shiny thing, eh? Locke's going to be jealous when he hears about this. Who Locke? He... Oh, Locke, he bad man? Yes? Maybe he's trying to try steal Gal's treasure. Locke, well, he's... Listen. Listen when someone's talking to you. <laughs> oh, man, I need to I need to stop reading the dialogue and actually look at the fact he's spinning around with his arms in the air. Look how cute he is. <laughs> I believe he's trying to tell us something. Uh, fine, well, what is it? 
<laughs> just doing squats. Here, here, shiny thing, here. Where Sabin is that? Where Sabin is that? Mobblers. Sign stand, place river bring. Gal stand, crescent mountain, moon shaped mountain, shiny thing there. Well then, shall we be off? We might as well see what what is at this crescent mountain of his. Oh my god, this is so weird. What about Nash? Uh, why do we have to invite someone like him along? <laughs> I can't quite get a read on these guys. Does he not like Gal? I mean, he just said that in private with no one around. Mr. Thou, hurry up! We leave you behind! I told you before, my name's not Mr. Thou. <laughs> I guess he likes him, but just not that he's getting his name wrong. Something like that, right? This game looks so daringly cute. Thanks for the stream, you're grateful. Yeah, it is very cute, isn't it? Oh. Oh my god, it's a kappa speaking to us. Like, literally a kappa. Here is how to build up girls' skills. One, during battle, choose the leap command that appears only when you are on the veldt. Oh, I think the Steam achievements say something about leaps. Doesn't he learn monster abilities? Two, keep fighting on the veldt. And eventually, Gao will reappear. Three, when he reappears, he will have learned the attacks of the monsters you were fighting when he leapt, as well as those you were fighting when he returned. Wow! Wow! Is that, is that noise actually meant to be the Tarzan noise? You know, the... That noise. <laughs> Which I cannot imitate at all. You, there, uh, there's some really crazy trivia about that sound. I can't remember what it is. I think I learned it on QI many years ago. If anyone wants to fill me in on that. Uh, choose Rage to have Gao use any of the attacks he has learned. And now please continue your quest. So this is like eating monsters. This is like Blue Bullet. This is like Lancet. This is, you know. This is our Blue Mage of the game. Feral youth. What is that expression? <laughs> oh my god, what is that expression? And why does he look totally naked? Right? I mean, I'm not crazy, am I? Doesn't the perspective here suggest that that's his entire back there? And that's like his leg. He's like crouched over a little bit. He's he's like... <laughs> he's in a position, all right. <laughs> This is bizarre. Also, what's this green stuff here? It looks like a tail. I suppose it's attached to it. Oh, it's probably a ponytail, isn't it? Actually. That means we have three ponytail wearers right now. That's the uh, the link here. All right, we're going to save onto a, a normal slot here now. Okay, so as far as I can make out, I need to make him leap, and then he goes away for a few fights, and then he comes back. Rage. Oh, okay, so these are the different ability monsters he can learn moves from. Well, let's just try it out, I guess. Well, I went south expecting to find the mountain, but instead all we've done is we found the southern shore. It's weird because it sort of feels like this whole area should be like jungly. Oh, Christ. Okay, so Moose and Bell Motors. I don't think that they were actually on the list, were they? Also, what? Should I... Should I fight? Okay, let's just leap. Go. Of course, he killed the what that thing. Oh, my lord. Oh, that ended the fight. Oh, there's the entrance to the, the mountain. Okay, real quick before we go in there. Let's just check. There's a little bit here on the top left. So it's just us two again now. Oh, this is no, this is so weird. I mean, this is not what I expected to happen at this village that I would just end up wandering off because there was nothing else going on. Oh, he's back. Wow! Do we have to throw the meat at him again? I'm Gao. Yeah, I see you. You friend, friend. I join you again. But he didn't learn anything, did he? 
Because I don't think... Like, the one thing he could have learned something from was that Belmodar. But we killed it, right? I don't know. I mean, I'm only just getting to grips with this. And I can see the names of various enemies here. Let's just imagine. If we see a Were-Rat, Hornet, Zagrim, Angel Whisper, anything like that. Man, it's getting cold. I opened the doors here because I've had the heating on. And it is genuinely getting freezing here. Also, the dog that I'm seeing is uh, freaking out and looking out the window. Oh, I've got a hell of a story for you guys. Oh, here you go. Magic armor. That's definitely on the list. Okay, leap. Okay, so here's the story I've got for you all. Based on the cold of the winter. So, last night, I was up quite late. Very late, in fact. I was right here at this PC. Can't remember what I was doing, exactly. Um, look to the right. Oh, I think I was playing Hades. I was playing Hades in Discord. Um, look to the right. And I see this giant black thing on the floor where there shouldn't be a giant black thing, like out of the periphery of my vision. So I look to the right very, very quickly towards it. And as I turn, as I move, and it's quite a subtle movement, you know, it's only my head that's moved. The black thing moves. The giant black thing moves. Now, just for a bit of background here, I have a lot of experience with massive spiders moving around on the floor in here in the middle of the night. You know, that's when they tend to think, all right, I've got to make a run for it or do whatever. And where I live, I don't know why, there just seem to be a lot of giant spiders in this particular area. Let's see. I can use rage now. But they're all available. Every single one of them is available. Magitech armor. Oh, there you go. He used Magitech laser. Well, I don't want to make him leap again because I don't have... I don't have any more meat to give him. So maybe we go back to town, buy a bit of meat. And do this a couple of times. This might be something that might be nice to grind off screen. Okay, so back to the spooky story. So I'm used to seeing spiders running across that exact section of the floor. And usually pretty big spiders as well, because the smaller ones you wouldn't notice, right? They'd be too small to catch eyes. Anyway, what this thing I caught, it was immensely huge. Like, gargantuan for a spider. Like, to the level that I was so sure that there was like a tarantula or something massive in here. And so, um... Oh, what am I going to do? I guess, yeah, just buy some meat. Uh, so the scary thing, though, was that when I turned to look, you know, I'm never quite sure when it comes to a spider whether they know that I'm there, you know, whether they really understand. You know, because sometimes it feels like they're just being deathly still to avoid predators. But then sometimes, like, you'll turn your back on them and suddenly they'll move. And it's like, wow, do they know that, like, I... I'm in the vicinity, like, are they smart? And that's a scary thought. So here's me with a subtle movement of my head and this enormous thing bolts. It's, it's definitely alive, it's definitely a thing intruding in the home and it's ran off underneath like this cabinet, basically, at lightning speed. So now I've got the thing of like, this thing's massive and it's fast and it's smart. And I'm like, oh my God, what what is this? This is just horrifying. Um. So anyway, I get up, I go poking around, and uh, it turns out, thank God, it's not a spider. But for the first time in my life, I mean, I've never actually had this experience. So can I just spam Magitek Laser forever now? Yeah, okay, I guess I can. I'll grind these off screen, guys. I'll grind these off screen. Let's go to the mountain. Um, it was not a giant spider. It was a mouse. There was a mouse in here. And um, it really creeped me out. And I was like, okay, I've got to try and catch this thing. Turns out mice can squeeze into incredibly small holes. Every time I tried to get it out of an area, it would like sprint off under some other piece of furniture. The nice thing at least was that, you know, for a spider, it would have been massive. But for a mouse, it's actually this incredibly little cute little thing. And I, was, I went from being very scared and very creeped out to sort of actually saying under my breath, oh, that's very cute. I actually said under my breath, oh, hello, when I saw it. Because it is unbelievably sweet. You know, like the cutest little dormouse or something. I have no idea how it got in here or when it got in here. Sabin says, Sai and that shiny, shiny thing of Gauss is in here. Indeed. And where exactly might it be found? Sir Gao. Yeah, call him Sir. Gao, forget. 
<laughs> oh my god, they have a face palm animation. Shall we look around? It seems we have no choice. Yeah, okay, so let's look. So yeah, for for a spider, it would have been huge. For a mouse, you know, it's actually quite cute and small. You know, I, I don't want to get too close to it or whatever because it might bite me. Now here's the weird, it's kind of a weird story. Because it might still be in here. I was looking for it. I don't have any mouse traps or anything. I'll have to buy one. Um, and I couldn't get it. I went to bed. And when I look in the hiding spot where I thought it was, like, resting, I can't see it anymore. So I I've got no idea. There might be a mouse infesting here somewhere. <laughs> I just don't know. And uh, how this links to the winter is when I mentioned it in Discord, they did say, and I think this is a very good point, that um, it's probably the cold. It's because it's, it's gone from like five degrees to like minus eight in a week. And uh, little critters and things are probably seeking refuges and house houses. So, yeah, a um, little, uh, little bit of an adventure that I was on over yesterday. Uh, what is it, Gal? Do you see something? I just seen those rats in that field a second ago that we were going to get uh, an ability from. Made me think of it. Wow! Oh my god, don't push him in. Ah, my money pouch! There was 500 gil in there! Oh god, this is exactly the kind of game that would take that 500 gil off of me as well. Gow, you little shit! <laughs> oh dear, Sir Sabin, please let it go, for all our sakes. Arrgh. Swinging his hands around madly. Did it take 500 gil? Oh, it might not have, actually. I don't know, 3,079, that seems about where we left off. So what is that what Gal's been doing? Just luring people here and throwing their money in the pit. It's quite creepy in here because there's no music whatsoever. So if you guys have any advice for my little mouse problem, um, I'd love to hear it. And is it weird that I kind of want Crescent Mountain Cave East South entrance exit, did that say? Oh god, it's a dead end. I didn't expect that. Is it kind of weird that I want to catch it and... Just have it as a pet. I mean, it's so cute. But I don't know how long they live. I don't want to get attached to something and then not like die on me or whatever. I, I was devastated with my fish dying, let alone getting a little mouse. But I think that would be quite cool. Is this it? The shiny treasure? Treasure? I mean, as long as I got it in a proper like cage or something, you know. So it's not like dropping little pe tiny little pellets of poo around. Treasure! Treasure! It is all but a dirty glass bowl. Kind of looks like it would fit over your head. <laughs> oh my god, this game is very funny. It's constantly going with the jokes. Hmm, I wonder if we could use this. It might let us breathe underwater. Oh god, yeah, it is. It's not just a glass bowl. That's a, uh, like a, what do they call it? A nautilus suit? What is it? A diver's suit, obviously, but a bell, is it? Is that the word? It might let us breathe underwater. All right, let's go. Okay, this is this is utterly bizarre. So sorry, this was all so that we could breathe underwater so we can go to that town a million miles away. That wasn't Narsh being shown on the cutscene. These rapids look quite rapid, no kidding. Is there any way to make it up in time mate uh is there any time to meet up with the, in time with the others? How do we even have a sense of what kind of a time limit we're on here? Oh, he looks really sad. He doesn't want to go in the water. All right, let's go. Is he not coming with us? Oh, maybe he wasn't optional then, because if I didn't... If I didn't grab him from a random battle... Oh, there you go, he came. That reminds me of the never-ending story. Holy shit, the underworld. Wow. It looks like there might be a whole underworld here, underground. Oh, wow, a, a, an underwater battle here. Okay. So what happens if I try to rage something I've never done? Like, I don't know, Angel Whisper. Do, will it say fail? No. Is it that it just... I mean, that wasn't a fancy animation, so was it it just played a generic animation and didn't do much damage? One of our cats has found a baby mouse, eyes still shut and everything, so my wife and I tried keeping it, bottle feeding him and everything. One day he took a leap of faith out of our hands. Oh, God. Do go on. What do you mean, leap of faith out of your hands? Yeah, your thing about the cat as well. Can I just remind you all, I'm dog-sitting at the moment, right? There was a dog. In this whole story, there was a dog in the vicinity. Like, me lifting up my couch, okay? Like, I'm only one man, so I lift up a cat. Oh, God, what's going on? Let's take a right. 
Um, I'm only one man, so I lift up the couch. I can't grab the mouse afterwards. I'm doing this in the vicinity of a dog. You would expect the dog to go mental, but he just didn't care. He, he, he did not give a damn. It was like the thought of there being a mouse around was of no interest at all. Oh, what's this? Defend and row. Oh, that's a second... Uh... Our row will be shift position, I suppose. Um, like, when I... So, a, a bit more background to the story. But before I finally saw it, when I thought it was a spider, a lot of times throughout yesterday, last night, I kept catching something moving in my peripheral vision. I kept catching it and thinking, that's a bit weird. I, I'm sure I saw something moving. But whenever I'd look, I'd always just see the dog on a chair, like, staring out towards me, like there's this chair he sits on. And I always thought, oh, it must have been that the dog had wagged his tail or something. Never in a million years did I think that there was actually a creature in the room, because the dog is doing nothing except just sitting there, looking at the floor, basically. If there was something massive running across the floor, surely it would go for it. Now, I know that this dog doesn't really care about bugs and stuff. Like, it will never go for a bug, it's just not interested. But a mammal? An actual other living entity? And he still didn't care. I mean, I finally saw the thing. I wonder how many times the dog's seen it and just not so much as even a little tiny little bark or something, you know, a little, there's just nothing. So, uh, yeah, a bit of a letdown in some ways, but also probably quite good in others. I mean, Christ, what if you start going mental at like, one of the things the mouse got behind was a very big bookshelf. I'm going to go, I'm going to press left this time. And, um, If the dog had been the kind of dog that would go mental about that and knock the bookshelf over, it would have just, you know, it would have been horrible, so. Okay. I really want an AoE move with these guys, but maybe that's the whole point. You, you don't really get one. I guess this sequence is a lot like the Raft sequence again, by the way. You know, you, we're, we just choose left or right every now and then. Kind of hard to, in both sequences to tell where we're going. I suppose cat owners have to deal with that kind of stuff a lot more, but usually like the rodent will be injured or suffering in some way, which is very sad. This thing doesn't appear to be suffering. The only downside is I can't imagine what it would be eating or drinking. I mean, how is it going to get water? What's it going to try and do? Make its way in the kitchen or something? I mean, there's literally nothing around. So, which is why if I want it as a pet, I'd have to catch it quick. Oh, does Gal have auto haste? What is this feather? I'm glad I uh, s took a second to teach him one move. Hold on, does he have a capacity? Because he just did a generic attack there. Did he only have two Magitek lasers because he did it to two? He leapt over two of them before. And now is he out? Is there a way I can see his stockpile maybe? Oh, that looks like the end to me. Oh, here we go. Look, look, look. We're crossing the ocean. Interesting. Usually in these games, you'll get on like a wooden ship or something. And sail at the start. So they've they've done a bit of a twist there. How is this on any level getting us to Nash? I must have missed some dialogue, surely. Speaking of wooden ships, will this take us there now? But we're in Nikea. A <laughs> scion with his fallen over animation. Let's play as Gao here. Wait, this isn't the same dock that we were at ages ago, is it? That would blow my mind. That was a dock at South Figaro, though, wasn't it? I'm sure it was. Hello, sir. This ferry's bound for South Figaro! Oh my god, everything I just said is literally what's happening. Okay, well, let's just check this place out. Wait, can I leave, though, conventionally and explore a whole second continent early? I'm shopping for imported goods. Are you now? I like these little elf-like kids. Pretty impressive that a kid like me can run a business, don't you think? You should buy something to encourage me. Oh my lord. It's like actual touristy places. You're getting harassed to buy stuff and they'll do anything they can. Whether that be pity or whatever. Sorry, just a big yawn there. Silver spectacles. Prevent darkness. I guess let's buy some. And a fairy ring. Prevents poison and darkness. 
Well, if I'm going to equip one, it's definitely that. These menus don't actually really show additional stats you'd get from stuff, though, so you never know. It might be like a bunch of strength hiding on something. Look at that hyper wrist. This is going to be a thing like where techniques are good early, but eventually attacks are the, the be-all and end-all. This town's isolated from the rest of the world, so you can't get anywhere without a ship. By the way, what does isolated mean? <laughs> yeah, I like these, the design of these little guys. They make me think, maybe it's just the season coming in here, but they make me think of, there was this old game I used to play. Um, I don't know whether anyone's going to know what I'm talking about here, but it's called Maths Mountain, I think is the name. I actually don't know. But basically the idea is you're like an elf or something. I don't know. <laughs> I really can't remember what you are. But you're some kind of character and you're climbing a mountain and in order to climb the mountain you need to answer maths questions and it starts off really easy like 2 plus 2 equals 4 and then it gets really complicated like 2 times 4 and you have to know that that's 8 and if you don't know that that's 8 you're going to go all the way down to the bottom of the mountain again. And you know, it's like a it's like a permadeath challenge. <laughs> but it's something like that. And I remember playing that as a very little kid and always getting stuck on like the division levels. But if you manage to get to the top, you get like a trophy or something. And then you'd be at the bottom again and it would slowly fill the trophy room up. That was the first game I ever played that felt like collecting things. And like taught me how that was fun. Get out of my way, <laughs> stand around the street like that, all covered in filth. I don't know what it was actually called, I just know it's Maths Mountain. And this will have been some 90s PC game, I think. Oh, a spear. Wait, who's this? Oh, that's, um, Edgar. Yeah, I'll give him a spear. I always like spears in Final Fantasy games. Ever since the recent-ish playthrough of 12, where I had Fran as a berserker, uh, uh, constantly under the berserk effect with a spear, and she would just demolish everything. Okay, that's just a billion merchants. So, this place is isolated from everywhere except the sea, so if I do go out into the world map, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Let's check this building here, though, real quick. No, that's... Oh, no, he's not old. He's just talking. No, that strange old man lives in the cabin near the Le Le Lethe. I swear this word appeared in, ha in Hades recently. I helped deliver his son 13 years ago. What was a problem, Berth? The, pro the mother didn't survive, and the man couldn't handle the loss. Went loony, he did. Fault is, the baby was some kind of monster and threw it out. Poor little thing never had a chance. Oh, is that gal's dad? Oh, that's totally the story, isn't it? Did he have green hair? Oh, if I go back there with Gat... Oh, but I've missed it now. If I had gone back earlier... Please tell me someone in the live chat is not is not suggesting I do that. Uh, I don't know whether you have any, but many rages do AoEs. Also, Sabin will be getting an AoE blitz soon. Oh, because I mentioned AoEs earlier. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. I only have the basic stuff at the moment. Hey, you handsome young thing. Why don't you come have a drink with me? Tee hee. How do you say tee hee in a way that's not horrendous? How dare thee, licentious howler. Off, off with thee. She's not a licentious howler. She's a lady of the night. Oh, don't be such a stick in the mud. Let's have some fun. Hey, do you like these? <laughs> Oh my god, she's not talking about her tits. I call this one Humpty and this one Dumpty. No way! <laughs> he fell over. Uh, 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 Humpty? D -d -d Dumpty? Cyan, you're being too thin-skinned. Th thou art unaffected by these charms? One of the benefits of all my years of aesthetic training. Oh, don't leave me standing here all alone. <laughs> oh, you've really got to watch this. You've got to watch the characters because they have so many animations they're cycling through. Enough of that. A woman should have modesty, modesty and decency and and decorum and, and politeness and uh, rent, 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 rent. Oh, sign. 
I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll go a round or two <laughs> of drinks. Drinks is what I meant there. Drinks. Hey, you handsome young, young thing. Why don't you come have a drink with me? Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, she's calling all of us young. That's very clever. That's very clever. Now, I tell you guys this story. I had a, a very old guy deliver some stuff to me a few days ago. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, actually. And he said to me, um, he called me young man. And I haven't been called young man for a while now. Um, so I've, I've been, I've been vibing off it ever since. <laughs> and it makes sense because he was such an old looking guy. But, uh, you know, maybe when I retell this story, I should just make him sound quite young himself. And then therefore, you know, it's a good compliment. Ships used to sail to the towns of the southern continent, Sen, Aldbrook, Miranda, but all of them have been lost to the Empire. I really like this format of game, where you just sort of flit about, and you sort of get no pressure, bite-sized snippets of exposition. Do you know what I mean? It's just like you just chat with random people and get little details here, there, and everywhere. Quite scattershot, quite carefree. Get out of my way! <laughs> Standing in the street all like that, all covered in filth! Excuse me. So, the Eastern Kingdom of Doma has fallen to the Empire as well? It's not very... Well, I would say it's tactless or whatever, but she doesn't necessarily know who's who. All this stuff looks like junk to me. All right, well, whatever. I mean, they've simulated the bazaar, the seaside bazaar experience very well. Now can we exit, I wonder? A rock slide has blocked the route that leads north along the coast. It's so crazy that we started at the boat and we could have skipped all this. Rooms are 150 gear. Yeah, let's do it. Ready? I'm going to turn it up and everything. Here we go. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. It's like we're waking up in Killaker or something. Oh. Could I have explored to the top right and seen some other person in the inn? Nope, looks like no one's here. But there is an elixir hiding in a, in a clock. Okay. I guess that's their go-to in this game. If they're going to hide something, they'll hide it in some piece of furniture or whatever. Go into this barn, this stable. Oh, we can hire a chocobo. Quick, quick. Um, maybe I should do that. No encounters for, because that's essentially what that means, right? No encounters for the exit. Where is the exit? Over here. Okay. It's a bit of a troll to let someone get on a chocobo when there's nowhere to go. And that's exactly what they've done. <laughs> so if you got this chocobo, there would be nothing to do here. It would just be running this little... So I'm scared of mobs around here, though. Let's see what happens with that Magitek armor thing again. Yeah, he's not doing the move anymore. If they only have a capacity, that kind of sucks. I, 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 don't know. I mean, I guess I can just grind it off screen. It might be favourable to do that just in general. Yeah, I guess until that rock slide moves or whatever. I mean, unless it's like a thing in Seven where you can uh, the chocobo you hire here is red so it can hop or whatever and you can go to new places. But I, I seriously doubt that that's what's going on. Okay, so let's get on the boat. Let's go back to South Figaro. I've got to assume that from there we can get to Narsh quite cleanly. No more complications. It's a weird thought that we could go into South Figaro now and look for Locke, but he's not going to be there. And it's because he's on whatever other adventure we, we we haven't seen yet. Oh my god, you know what? The fact that I can move in front of these crates was very difficult information to realise. What's down? I didn't even realise you could go... So Wait, did we explore this? Oh, maybe we did. And that's going to be quite cool. We might see the aftermath of um, 
of Locke's adventure, though? What if, like, a building's blown up or something? Here we go. Yeah, look at this. Little steam tugboat here. Off to Costa del Sol with us. Or to be dragged into the depths by a leviathan of some sort. Nash is just a stone's throw away. Wait, did I just hear the Guild Wars 1 whisper sound effect? Sound effect. Oh my god, did somebody just sub or something over on Twitch? <laughs> and that threw up a notification. Uh, I've got to fix that. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry, that has absolutely nothing to do with this series. I'm not even recording over there at the moment. Uh, I wonder if the others arrived safely. I'm sure they did, said Sion. Oh god, what if it turns out one of them's dead or something? Ooh, he's sad. Oh, no, it ends there. Oh, I really wanted to get there. Oh, man. So in, so we, we choose the next storyline now. So instinctively, I think... Oh, wouldn't it be crazy if they just let you walk left and left and left and there was another character you didn't know and you could just mysteriously interact with them and there was another part of the story. It was like an Easter egg. But, like, quite a fleshed out one. Um, instinctively, I think Locke now. Because these guys are, like, the main story, if you will. Or, ostensibly. And I like the idea of starting with an individual. Locke has worked hard to stimmy the efforts of the Imperial troops in South Figaro. But now he desperately needs to escape. So, I believe I remember you guys saying in the live chat last time that um, these sections are a bit shorter. So, I don't know whether that means less action-packed or, or less interesting, but we'll see. Damn it, gotta make tracks and get to Nash. Oh god, is it like a stealth section? Oh my god, and we're moving fast. Okay, should I unequip the sprint shoes? I think I will. I don't really remember what I've been doing with him. Maybe we should hype. Oh, he already has a hyperist and it won't double up. Let's put a fairy ring on. I mean, why not? In fact, let's also optimize. Okay, nice. All right, hi. Rich people's homes always have secret passages. Okay, so wait, this is Duncan's wife. Duncan was the master of the martial arts mountain. That Sabin was training at and didn't even talk about much. And now we're locked with hearing about Duncan again. Well, his wife, anyway. You just have to search until you find a place where you can fill a draft. I can fill a draft everywhere here at the moment. I'd really rather not save on some heating. Because how about that uh, cost of living crisis, everyone? Or everyone else in the UK? Just now realising that I haven't really talked about that in case you missed the comments that mentioned it Sabin's scenario is much longer than the other two yeah 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 that's what I just said yeah I didn't miss that hello Holt what do you think you're doing okay of course he's gonna get in a fight so can I actually choose to get out of this stealthily or should I risk a turn stealing each time I mean he just did a lot of damage to me oh god I think I've just wiped I've totally just wiped This guy is annihilating me. Okay, that was a bit less damage. And I'm doing so little damage to him. What do we assume he's got? Maybe 500 health? Oh, what a stupid move for me. And I didn't save. I don't know where we'll go back. Thankfully, this game doesn't seem to have crits, so I don't have to be too nervous. Oh, don't. No, 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 no. Well... Oh, thank God. Back to square one. Oh, nice. It's not an actual game over. Okay. But I've learned my lesson. Oh, I did quick save. Or it quick saved for me. Okay, so don't... Don't... I mean, I could probably fight that guy. Oh, this really is like a stealth sequence, eh? Go on, go up. Oh, he won't go all the way. Hmm. All right, and to be clear, just don't talk to them. We're all right. They won't actually fight us unless we talk to them, at least for now. Oh, 
Oh god, I can't believe we're back here. Bring me some cider. <laughs> it's the cider guy again. Oh, I should have figured that we might actually have to do the cider thing now. Is that what this was all about? Man, I really like playing this game. It's so chill and relaxed. Just like leaning back, playing one-handed. Stay away from the armored soldiers. They'll kill you just for talking to them. You're that infamous thief, Locke, aren't you? Oh, no, that was just plain rude. I'm a treasure hunter, and don't you forget it. I remember that dialogue from before. How are we in a fight? Holy shit. That's a merchant. He looks amazing, doesn't he? Every now and then I'll see like a design. I'll be like, I'd love to cosplay that. I'm not a cosplayer. I've never cosplayed in my life. I don't really care about it on any level. But sometimes I'm like, I'd love to dress up like that. <laughs> Look at how cool that is as an outfit. That is bizarre. I love the suggestion that he has like only one eye. Or I guess that's his nose, actually. This little dot, this one pixel. You can interpret that as an eye looking out from like a dark slit. Or that's his nose and above it are goggles. I think that's probably what they're doing. I don't want to fight a random merchant. I'm sorry, dude. I mean, you can't have forced me to do that. Why do I have to always have to go and open my mouth? All right, he's knocked over. Okay, so it's not it's not too bad. Welcome. Okay, so there's not actually anything we can do in there. I assume when I go back, I can do that again, which is why stealing is disabled. Yeah. Because otherwise you could just farm infinite whatever, in theory. Alright, he's blocking that way. Do you think we can fight him, though? Is everyone going to be a deadly encounter? I mean, the other guy was a Magitek machine, but he was that in the overworld, too. This guy is just a regular soldier. Or, or, hold on. We can go downstairs. Hey kid, move out of the way. My grandpa used to be a servant for the richest family in town. But he said I'm only supposed to let merchants through here now. Yeah, move. I mean, really, if it's a life or death situation, I would just jump over him. Now, the secret exit place, we already found, didn't we? Wasn't that in this town? That girl said, oh, it's always drafty in here. And I, like, looked behind her, her, her clothes drawer. I mean, not that I was snooping around her or anything. And, um, and I found a, a secret passage that she didn't even know about. Oh, is that where I quick saved? Yeah, I don't know. Let's try and fight the soldier, I guess. Oh, stealing isn't disabled. It just had a chance to fail. Oh, I see. Okay. It's that the message came up saying... It, it didn't read like a normal failure message. What are you doing here? Scram. Oh, see, he won't, he won't let me pass. So I assume that the original soldier, likewise, won't get in a fight with me. Yeah, he'll say the same. Okay, so it's a puzzle. It's a real puzzle here. Okay, hold on. How do we progress? Downstairs has nothing. This guy's telling me about secret passages. Feel for a draft. As far as I know, I mean, what you're looking at here is I'm interacting with everything. If we go downstairs and go along all of these walls. Nothing either. So I think, I think we're clear with this room. This room's not a problem. Now, that guy will fight us and devastate us. So we can't fight him. There's no secret passages there. There's no way along. There's no way to jump here. So that leaves it. It's all to here, then. So, before we deal with any interiors, exterior, it's just this soldier guy. There's nowhere else I can go. However, I do think that it's likely in this house there's a secret passage. Because maybe it takes me underneath and I come out there. You see? So let's look in the magic lamp shop. So here's the guy. And he'll fight us repeatedly. 
Let's try and steal again, why not? Couldn't steal. I swear that isn't the the error we had a second ago. We had a different message. It said nothing to, it said I can't remember what it was. Maybe I'll try it anyway. He might give me a key or something, I don't know. Stole plumed hat, well there you go. Oh he's naked! Stole his clothes too! No way! Here we go. No, that oh, oh my god. They're a little tight, but the price was right. That was a very sneaky little message in chat there. In the live chat. Because it looked like you were just trying to give me... It looked like you just desperately wanted me to know... Like a really tiny detail. But what it actually was, was you were sneakily giving me a clue on how to proceed. Which is pretty cool. Why do I always have to go and open my mouth, says the merchant. So now I look like him. Oh, another little boy will let me pass. Where were you, little boy? Except imagine I didn't say that so creepily. Here. My grandpa used to be a servant for the witch's family in town. You were a merchant, right? Okay, go ahead. All right, we're through. If you're wondering why I've given the child an obnoxious voice, it's because that's how I see children. <laughs> All right, okay, good. So we get a free potion over there too. Not an elixir. Aha, and we're in the next stage. That guy is not on his mech. He's tending to it. And I run over Leap in it. I mean, would they do that story twice for the, th the branches? Does everyone end up stealing a mech? Oh, I'm behind this guy now. I, I, I could talk to him. Will he... Re Will he still fight me? Oh, he will. I mean, I look like a merchant now. I'm just a denizen, you know. I am but a humble member. Oh, we've got to probably attack, right? Um, I'm but a humble member of the South Figaro community. Seeking to uh, peddle my wares. Alright, where are we now? Oh, God, back to square. Oh, okay, alright. So, I'm assuming there'll be more mechs coming up. But it's okay, because this really was not a problem. I guess that's why he's got such ridiculous clothes too. I mean, that's so weird. I was talking about the whole cosplaying thing. That's essentially what Locke's doing here now, except, you know, they should have given him the other model, but I suppose a lot of animations wouldn't work with it. Okay, and he flees. Except he is still just laying there. Well, people treat me differently now. Oh, well, she's giving me advice to never go to the armored soldiers. I mean, that's fine. All right, so. Back downstairs. Uh, yeah, these stairs here. God, am I going to have to loop all the way back and give that guy cider in the end? That is the question. Okay, now we're out. Okay, so. I assume if I interact with this, he will just jump in the mech. And I'm screwed. So let's just get our bearings. So we're behind that guy now. We're just trying to get out of town, yeah? This is so interesting. They've overlaid a whole puzzle. Now, what about this guy? He's dressed in green. What are you doing here? Scram. Should we steal his clothes and now we'll look like a cadet? Would it be the same thing twice? It is the same thing twice. Stole his clothes too. Here we go. They're a bit too large, but he didn't charge. <laughs> He's called Birthday Suit. That is so funny. Wow. And he fled. I can't believe it. You know, this. some of this stuff, you know, people were saying this is a bit like RPG Maker. Even in terms of, in terms of like, style, right? Even in terms of substance, sometimes, this feels like the kind of thing I'd expect to find an RPG maker. It's just so carefree and fun-loving, you know? Hmm. Okay. And it's weird, because kind of, this kind of humour and whimsy, I feel like, 
It doesn't land in the new editions of the series. When there's like hyper realistic graphics and like the stylized, you know, Final Fantasy kind of characters. When you get scenes that are supposed to be really whimsical and fun and silly, they sometimes don't land, you know, or they feel a bit off or cringy or I don't know, there's something about it. Why don't they want to... Oh, right, because I'm a cadet now, as far as they're concerned. See, I don't even know... I mean, are you going to let me in your mech because I'm a cadet? That idiot Kefka is about to invade Narsh. Oh, of course I know better than to call him that to his face. Let me in. No? But he, he'll he chat with me. So what about you? Will you chat with me? Get back to your post. What about... Oh, God. Third time's a charm? Oh, at least he doesn't fight anymore. Same dialogue, but he won't fight. Okay. So what has that allowed me to pass? This door, probably? A detachment should be making its way towards Narsh as we speak. We'll be linking up with him soon. Oh, is my shift up already? Great, I'll go take a break. Found a green cherry. I'm supposing if I spoke to him first, he'd be talking about how he's... He's tired and he wants someone to help him out. Okay, there's a whole other phase of the puzzle here, it looks like. I still don't really trust touching to the soldiers. Oh, sorry, trust talking to the soldiers. Oh, so many hidden items. Like, especially someone else in green. Like, w w what if the jig is up if I do that? You know, they might figure out. I mean, in theory, if this was a bit more realistic, I wouldn't want to linger around town for very long because word would spread that some maniac's stealing everyone's clothes. Wait. Hold on. If this route is possible here, why did I have to bugger around with all this to get the guy to move? Couldn't I have just walked over here? Could I not have, in theory, because I was here earlier, right? Could I not have just done this the whole time? I'm assuming there was something else blocking me. All right. Um... Oh, I can just leave. Well, oh no, but this is just the boat. Oh, this is quite interesting. This is where they're going to land, though. The whole town is overrun. This is where they're going to arrive, the other party. This ship isn't going anywhere. Surely I sort this town out, though. Surely I get rid of all these Imperials. I'm so alone, though. It's all a quest to give the old man the cider, so he'll join my party. I mean, look at this. It seems our famous Lady General turned traitor. I heard they have her locked up somewhere in this town. Well, who? Our famous Lady General. If she's turned traitor to the Empire, that means she's an ally to us as the Returners. It's not a chance that's terror, is it? I don't think it is. There have not been many women in this game, have there? Of all the party members I've had, isn't Terra the only girl? And she's got like that awful personality where she's basically a doormat. For now, anyway. Oh no, I'm uh, late for my shift guarding the underground passage to the mansion. Oh well, better... <laughs> Wait, better never than late? <laughs> I like that. Because surely the phrase is better, better late than never. <laughs> That's very good. I heard there are two tunnels... And he just goes back to his drink. I heard there are two tunnels beneath the northern mansion. One leads to another house, and the other leads out of town. I think I found the one to the other house, but... Dude, can you... Oh, I'm getting such a good vibe from this. It's so weird. I never really think about LBA, but, you know, when I'm re recording a video, it sometimes comes up because of the outro. And we, didn't we already talk about it quite recently? But this whole thing where the town is being invaded and, like, it's quite dangerous and there's soldiers everywhere, that happens in Little Big Adventure as well, the, the second game. And I kind of have those vibes as well. This is like Citadel Island being, uh, you know, overrun by Esmas. Terribly sorry, I just ran out of everything I had to sell. 
Guess I'm out of luck. Lie to me, will you? Let's go. Should I steal back the merchant clothes? Stole his clothes too! <laughs> okay, but why would I want to look like a merchant again? They're a little tight, but the price was right. Whoa! And he uses flea. Why do I always have to go and open my mouth? I don't understand. Well, I, I okay, I probably need access to the secret passage or something. So I need people to be nice to me. So I shouldn't look like a cadet anymore. I've, I've got access to this final area. Oh, a jeweled ring. What's that? I've never seen that. A handsome ring set with a large gemstone prevents petrification. I mean, continuing along with our thing of buying one of everything. Thank you very much. Well, I definitely don't want to talk to the cadets now. One of the buildings has a secret passage out of town. See, I remember it as one of the northern buildings. It's like that building up there, isn't it? I'm not buying anything, he says. Okay. I could steal to look like a cadet again if I like. It's weird because I, when I'm so... No I assume these two I can never speak to because if I could speak to them, they'd move and I'd just go up through that grass and I'd be out. The Chocobo Stable, I'm guessing you're never going to go in there. Even if you could go in there, it's a pretty basic room. There's just a Chocobo to hire. It doesn't matter. So I don't have to worry about this stuff. He says he's not buying anything. And I spoke to him as a cadet already. What about that door? But if I, if the game is just to get in there as a merchant, I could have done that ages ago, couldn't I? So that's not it. It's got to be like this house here or something. Right? What if it's like... Secret passage on the left here somewhere. Bedrooms? Did I check in here before? Oh yeah, look, this, this is all a lot more complicated. I don't think I came here, did I? Where does this pull me out? Oh no, see... What about the mill? Did I try in here? I mean, these were just weapon shops, weren't they? These low-ranking soldiers in green love to start fights, even though they never win. They're so slow, you could steal the clothes right off their backs. I mean, good tip. It's a little late, though. Soldiers in the Imperial Army have different ranks. The ones in green are low-ranking grunts. Yeah, okay, all right. Well, actually, it's not a bit late, is it? Because the player learned how to steal from a merchant. They didn't learn how to steal from a cadet. Let me come back up here. I feel like I've lost progress, but there, ha there has to be a reason why they let me turn back into a merchant, no? It's like this cluster of buildings here, that's what I want entry to. And there truly is only that one doorway in. He says he's not buying anything. Oh, we never got that potion. I like how there's just a bunch of random stuff littered around for me to grab. So what if I can just bribe him with an item? What if the game is to, like, get the cider to the guy? Oh, yeah. Hold on. As a merchant. Now that I'm dressed as a merchant. Maybe they let me do something in the bar area. I'm not buying anything. I'm not buying anything. Like, if I go downstairs in the bar, where was the cider thing? Okay, in this door? Hey, you came to steal my cider, did you? You dirty little thief. Oh my god, he wants to fight me. Well, I already look like a merchant. Oh god. 
Why well, I don't know. Can I just beat him up? Oh, maybe, yeah, because before I couldn't beat him up, could I? If I just beat him up, I can grab the cider for myself. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I'll reset the screen. There we go. Obtain cider. I'm slowly but surely puzzling it out. Oh, his body's not even here. Okay, good. So with the cider, now we can go back to the... The old man that wants it. Oh, but wait, hold on. Before I go to the old man, I also kind of think, hold on, what if I just give it to the guy in front of the door? Do you think he'll just be like, cheers, mate, and move? move? I mean, it might happen. No. Okay. This is very weird, though, guys, because, like, when we were here before this arc, we easily could have already done that. <laughs> we could have beaten him up and taken it, right? Uh, I'm, getting, I'm going all over the place here. Um, oh, now you're blocking. Well, you were always blocking that. Wait, there's not anything really clever going on here, is there? Oh my god, it blows my mind how much time we've managed to spend here in South Figaro. Um... Oh, this is so clever, because this guy is an obstacle again now. Oh, there we go, it was that back door there. Okay, move over, child. Ah, that's why we've got to be a merchant again. That's why. Okay, everything before, we could have been dressed as a soldier. That's what this we would have st stumbled here and then we would have had to have swapped. I see how it all, all lines up and works out now. And now, finally, here's your cider. Ah, cider. Hold on. Hold on here. Let's get our lemon squash. Ready? Okay, I don't know whether that came through the mic. <laughs> Probably not. I've got a gate on there. Anyway, hmm, secret passage. Well, yes, there is a tunnel from here to the mansion on the north end of town. Go downstairs and tell my grandson the password. It's, um, I forget. Oh my god, there's a password to do? Also, it's quite clever how <clears throat> we could not be in this room dressed as a soldier right now, so they didn't have to do two dialogues. Ideas for it. Go downstairs and tell my grandson the password. I forget. Oh god. Is there a whole other layer of stuff to do that I missed? <clears throat> the password is Rosebud. That's a movie reference, isn't it? Isn't Rosebud like... Oh god, isn't it some gangster black and white film or something? It's like something important to someone? Don't people use that as terminology to describe, like, like if something is your rosebud, it's the thing you really care about? Is that is that right? Christ, I was a film student. And I forget all these things. Alright, whatever. Let's just say, uh, rosebud. Can't fool me, I know you're an imperial sly. No, 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 not back to the start. No, 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 no. Oh. My god. No! Well, it's easy, though. It's easy. Now that I know how to do it, it only takes a second, really. Oh, man. Wait, can I just give him the password? Oh, yeah, I can. Courage or failure? I'm... This is lame. It's obviously courage, right? Even before this, it was, like, screaming. But I'm going to pick failure because I like the idea that it's failure. Can't fool me. <laughs> they should do that, though, you know. Like, games... I, I can't blame this. This came out in 1994. But games still aren't unpredictable in that way, you know. There's no real art. All right, fine. Because, you know, that's against the theme and the spirit of the game. But that's exactly why it should be the password. Courage. I'll show you the secret engine. I wonder if there's a way for me to deduce that beyond, you know, meta-understanding of the product. Cool, huh? Yeah, real cool. I mean, he is. I don't know why I said that was sarcastically. It actually is. It's pretty cool. Okay, secret passage. Oh, there was no reason for me to imagine how all the buildings connected on the overworld because that was completely arbitrary where we ended up. I like this. 
Another secret storage room. Once again, feels like the fate. Are we about to find some Nethersite? In fact, by the way, the Nethersite is in this game. I saw on the Steam achievements, Nethersite is a thing. I don't know whether it's going to be like the same idea as... Oh, that was not possible the whole time, was it? Oh, no, because I'm in a unique new area here now. It's empty. Yeah, I doubt it'll be like magical nukes, but it could be something. Hello. No more music. The Imperial troops have turned this house into their headquarters. Have they? Thanks to our inside informant, this town fell with almost no resistance. Yeah, I think I remember reading that. Didn't we hear that before? But we don't know who the informant is, right? Oh yeah, and now we go up upstairs. And it's the other secret room. Right? These aren't rooms, are they? No, that's not. And that's not. God, these kids are driving me nuts. Can't they keep quiet for two minutes? Clang, clang, clang. I'm in Magitek armor. Wind the clock. Wind the clock. Uh, that was just a jump rope rhyme. Was it? Do we not have to? Do we have to interact with the clock to get the next secret passage? And this kid's just spoiling it. And this oblivious guy isn't taking the time to get to know them. So therefore, he's missing out on something very important. Hello, sir. Oh, what have I done? Ah, oh, here you go. This is the guy. I betrayed my town to the Empire. All I could think of was the money. Judas. Unbelievable. For a pouch of silver. Nice Christmassy story for you there. Christmas is like extra Christmas this year because it's, it's happening on Sunday. Which, as far as I, I'm led to believe, is very rare, isn't it? But, like, it's literally Sunday right now, and in 14 days, it is the 25th. Alright, the impact of being in here is lessened somewhat by the fact that I already found this. <laughs> See, that chest is open. But we got to enjoy the fruits of, uh, of our plundering. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's someone in the cell. This will be the the um, the uh, the rebel, right? Wait a second. She's one of the Empire's generals. And Locke's seen her before. Sorry, I never voiced that. I just read it and clicked on. Oh, it is a new character. This is what happens to traitors. A Magitek knight forced by the Empire and tempered in battle. None have ever truly known the woman beneath the general's guise. Celes. Celes? Celes? How would we pronounce that, do you guys think? I don't like any of the names in this game. I mean, Locke is fine. Terra is good. But most of these names are a bit awful, aren't they, really? So the mighty Celes, Celes has fallen. Kefka's good. Not as far as those. Uh, what kind of voice? Do we give a... Uh, look, I only have a few, few lady voices available. I've got posh lady. I've got common lady. I guess I haven't done common lady, but I don't think it's appropriate for a general. I've also got, like, strong lady, but strong lady kind of becomes posh lady for some reason. Not as far as those who'd use their strength to oppress the weak. <laughs> Quiet. Kefka's planning to poison every last man, woman, and child in the kingdom of Doma. Oh, look at that, little we! And because of the order in which we did the story, we know that she's right about that. In fact, it's happening at this very moment. Oh, I'm really happy with that. If we had done it in the other order, I wouldn't have really cared or thought about how that lined up. Shut up! Hoof, <laughs> run that mouth of yours while you still can. Your execution's tomorrow. Keep a close eye on her. Yes, sir. I can stand guard for days without sleep. Oh, she collapsed. Let's be a hero. Let's get in there. Oh, where are we hiding? Am I in this little... Oh, I was going to guess I'm there. Oh, this is even better. Whoa, I was like in the rafters. All right. Let's go beat that guy up. Never mind, he's gone. Hello, General Celeste. 
I fell asleep instantly. I like it. So it's very funny. He fell asleep straight away. <laughs> uh. Do you know what I really want to play? Like, I'm always surprised about this with Guild Wars as well. Like, how funny it can be. Like, that's where they get a lot of their entertainment. Um, I feel like they're really... Uh, uh, either they don't exist, they don't get the kudos that they deserve, or I'm just missing out and I'm an idiot. But I feel like I don't really indulge in, like, specifically comedic games. Like, what games are made to be funny and make you laugh, you know? And that's the main thing. The only franchise I can think of is like Leisure Sweet Larry. And even that's not actually funny when you're an adult. It's just like stupid sex and gross out humor. And it's like, okay, that's, that's actually not funny really. I mean, it's a little bit funny for the shock value, but once you've experienced it enough, it's just boring, you know, and, and it loses it. That's why it's such shallow kind of jokes. And even that franchise doesn't exist anymore. So I don't know. I don't know what's around, you know? I feel like that should be a genre, to some degree. The Stanley Parable? Uh, that's more like... I mean, definitely there's a lot of humour in that. And a, a lot of its entertainment comes from that. But it is trying something else, isn't it? There is, it's, that's more art, I think, then. Like, I wouldn't... I wouldn't call that a comedy game. I would call that a comedic game. I don't know. Anyway, it, I just... I think about that a lot. Especially when I'm, I was doing, like, some of the, the Guild Wars replay stuff that... I did just before like End of Dragons came out, for example. <laughs> just keep looking, gross. Okay, no, remove her bindings. And you are. Name's Locke. I'm with the Returners. You're a Returner. I'm, or at least I was, General Celeste. Now I'm nothing but a traitor. Well, let's get going. You, do you take me with you? No, I can barely walk. I'd never make it out of here. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, but even if you got me out, you wouldn't be able to protect me. I'm better off waiting here for the execution. Oh, come on! Can we not have a badass for a second, please? I'm better off waiting... Oh, we're changing our voice. I'm better off waiting here for the executioner. At least that may I'll keep my pride. Oh, I suppose there's some strength in a... A conviction there. I'll protect you. Look at these muscles. Look, look, I'm flexing. Trust me, you'll be fine. <laughs> he winked. He straight up winked. Let's go. Wait. This soldier might have seen, might have something on him that could help us out of it. Yeah, we're just talking very loudly in front of him. There's a clock key in his pocket. Stealing is wrong. <laughs> No, let's take it. Obtained the old clock key. <laughs> oh, you woke up. This is like when you try and pickpocket in like an Elder Scrolls game and it doesn't quite work, even though they're asleep. And then they slowly stand up and get out of bed and then look at you and open dialogue and say, Stop, thief! In the name of the... Uh, more soup? Mumble. I nearly had soup for lunch today. And some bread too. Yeah, literally. I was thinking of popping down the shop and getting a stick of French bread for a quid and with that fresh French bread coming up and uh, having in chicken soup chicken and mushroom soup that's what I was going to have today but uh, I didn't in the end I'm not really sure whether there was any value to that but fine this is the clock is it? because this room was kind of a nothing before an old clock, it's ticking. We gotta find one that's not ticking. So this one up here maybe? An old clock, it's not ticking. Wind the clock. Okay. Well, I heard something rumble, but... Oh my god, there's a door there. Oh, I missed the animation. What actually happened? Did I blink at the exact wrong moment? What happened there? Did a crate move? I'll have to rewind that and watch it. Oh, nice. There's a new effect here. Revealing a secret passage down. Oh, random encounters. Oh, they're in a line. Does that mean, like, less damage back? So we gotta, we got to fight through. I doubt stealing their clothes matters anymore. Okay, what has she got? She's a mage again. She also has runic abilities, it looks like. Oh, do you know what? I never looked at her in the, uh, the menu. Oh, 
Oh god, I think I just heard the dog hacking up again. I thought we were over this. I thought you weren't vomiting anymore. Hey? He's just looking at me like an idiot. Okay, rune knight. So now I like the idea of rune knights, and I'm kind of toying with having one in my MMO thing, but the thing is, I don't really know, like, what's special about, like, a rune knight. It would be very specific to the kind of world that they inhabit. She looks like she's asleep in her picture. Obtained iron armor. Okay. Oh, do you think as well, if we go equip, we can just optimize her straight away? Yeah, we can. Oh, and we can put relics on her. It's probably a good idea. I'm getting main character vibes here from her, so... She was casting spells, right? So, I don't know. Let's just do that. Just, just some random stuff, because why not? Well, obviously, I want to get into that storage room. Why one chest is already open and the other two are shut, I don't know. Now, if she casts magic onto the back row, will that do 100% damage? Because it's magic? It doesn't matter since they're all the same, but what if later there's a really strong mob at the front and I want to kill the Chattel first, you know? So to speak. Okay, good. I'm glad I came up this way. Heavy shield and a great sword. I'm guessing that they get... Oh, wow, those dogs look cool. Vector hounds. Okay, let's see the runic menu. Oh, I just clicked runic. There's no sub menu. She just immediately is going to do something. Runic. Wait, what did it do? It buffed her in some way? Holy shit, she's low. Here, drink a high potion. Even Locke's quite low, frankly. They're very fast, aren't they? A lot of bites and scratches and slashes. Enemy positions don't matter at all. Okay. And her runic ability... T Bulma, you, you are being so useful in the chat. Her runic ability absorbs magic spells and turns them into MP for her. Right, so I have to be against someone using magic. Is that the thing? And when you say absorb, I wonder if that means 100% of the damage is removed, or... Let's just see, with a regular attack, how she's doing as well here, by the way. No, she's not quite at one-shot level, so I will keep casting fire. And we're just going to power through... Uh, sorry, Blizzard. And we're just going to power through with the pressure here. Oh, just about survived. Nice. That last little stab. Okay. No, I'll let you out in the garden soon. Dog looking expectant at me. Probably needs to pee or something. I don't know. I feel like we're so close to escaping, though. All right, down here. And it would be a real shame to end this video with us still in Figaro. So he's gonna have to wait. And if he pees on the carpet, I will, I will, I will put that down to the the magic of <laughs> creating videos. <laughs> all right, good. That was nice and clean there. That's how really we want all of them to go. Um. Okay, staircase down. Wait, but is this where we came? No, it's not. Oh. Another hidden storeroom? Oh, God. Do you know what? I really sort of flinched a bit there as I opened that chest because I thought it was going to be a monster in a box. X potion. Can we go down? We can. Very well hidden, this. High ether. I mean, aren't they giving us that a little bit early? On what level would I want a high ether at this point? Encounter rate here seems super high, too. Of course, I don't need to use these high potions as well. That last fight, I, what I really could have done is... Um, 
He's just cast Cure. You know what? It just occurred to me as well. When we had the split parties, you know, if I had like a character buy a potion and then we would randomly be playing Cyan or something who they'd never met and he could use the potion. That was a bit weird because it was like we were breaking the laws of space, you know, because how did that, how did that potion just teleport over? That's one thing. But now we're breaking space time. These items are now time traveling as well as moving over vast distances because items that I bought at that shop, however long into the future, across the ocean are now in the inventory, are in Locke's inventory. I quite like that. Like it's just how shameless that is. I mean, how, how sophisticated are you gonna demand this game be, right? There are crits. There totally are crits. We just crit there. I guess it's just very rare for enemies to crit me, because I, I feel like I haven't really seen that happen. I feel like that, for turn-based RPGs, that's why critical hits are so good. You need that level of unexpected yeah, uncertainty to, like, I don't know, it just makes the strategizing just that little bit more interesting. That little bit less knowable at all times. Why are you helping me, she says. And Locke says, you remind me a lot of someone. Terror, is that the idea? Or someone else. I hope it's someone else. I hope he has his own history. But didn't he just suggest he knows her? There's a lot of mystery about Locke. What's the matter anyway? I'm helping you because I want to. Okay. Ah. And at long last, we are out of the town. Beautiful. And I guess the next step is just to walk up to Nash. I mean, it's not far away, is it really? What do we do? We go left through the cave and then that's it. Surely. Oh, we get back attacked. <laughs> and now we're going to get destroyed by this bell mode art. Maybe we go in another direction. I'm not too sure. But there you go, guys. I think that's a really good place to stop it for today. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I'll keep you posted in the next part with my mouse problem and so on. Uh, I hope you guys are all having a great afternoon. Oh, my God. We are going to get destroyed here. Oh, my God. If we die to this. How? How, though? There we go. <laughs> good, good start here. So, yeah, uh, next time we will continue and uh, see what, what awaits us. Thanks very much for the advice. Thanks for the fun chat and stuff, guys. I will be watching the comments very closely. And I'll see you all on the next one um, very, very soon. Take care, guys, now. I'm going to let this dog out.